So, why haven't there been videos this week? Well, I'll tell you for what. Yesterday, I was going to make a Baron Snakes video. That's right. The, the plan was to go through the Scots pages on Wikipedia, which is the most entertaining thing you can do in your life. But, I couldn't do that because my internet was so slow and so... It literally took me a minute to load one Wikipedia page. So I couldn't actually make the video. And then, a few days before, I had made a video but not uploaded it because I thought it was rubbish. And, uh, I'm sorry. I went to a gathering yesterday. It was a booktube gathering. It was really fun. It was in Cardiff. I said, oh, I won't, uh, I won't get any books. I came home with 11 books. So here's a haul for you. Starting off, An Astronaut's Guide to Life by Chris Hadfield. I didn't buy this book. I won it in a competition from uh, Bunny, Bookish Bunny. She's really nice. Go subscribe to her. She's a fantastic channel. And I won her giveaway. And she was there, so she gave me my book. And it is signed by Chris Hadfield himself which is awesome. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading this book. I really like Chris Hadfield. He's an awesome dude. Next up, Animasi Boys. Yeah, by Neil Gaiman. This was a uh, pound. I have no idea what it's about. It's a Neil Gaiman book. I saw it and thought, yeah, I want that. But I didn't want to spend too much money. And so, very nice of her, someone else in the gathering bought it for me. So, I, I so owe you a pound, I really do. I'm looking forward to reading that, even though I have not a clue what it's about. Apparently it's quite good. It's got praise on the back, it's by Neil Gaiman. Fat Charlie Nancy is not actually fat. Okay, good. I found something in the works that I've been wanting for ages, I've been wanting to read. Shudder, by uh, The Lost Adventure by Douglas Adams, uh, written by Gareth Roberts. This is the episode of Doctor Who that was never aired, but since it was never aired, it was adapted by Douglas Adams into Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency. And this cost £16 everywhere. In fact, I saw it in Forbidden Planet for £16. I was like, nah, I, I can't get that. Then it was in the works for four ninety nine. <sighs> for God's sake. I'm really looking forward to reading this. I bloody love Douglas Adams. I've heard great things about this uh, novelisation by Gareth Roberts and it's really pretty and the, the cover's all velvety and it's just nice having a big hardback Doctor Who book. I mean all my other Doctor Who books are either Target novels or little paperbacks so yeah. Then Sarah, clumsiness is a curse if you're not subscribed to her, I have no idea why not, you should be, go subscribe to her. Um, she was doing a thing in which she needed to get rid of some old arcs she had because you can't sell them so she decided to wrap them all up in very pretty uh, princess wrapping paper with the descriptions of the books on them but not the title of the book and so we had a look through them and picked the ones that we liked the most so I picked two books and I got Free Agent by Jeremy Duns uh, it is it's set in the Cold War I think it seems to be a thriller I think they're both thrillers and then I've also got uh, Road Dogs by Elmore Leonard and I think this is also a thriller. Yes, so these are books I will probably be reading at some point. And then of course Luke Lane Reads was also there and he wanted to get rid of a couple of books and one of the books he was trying to give away was Me Earl and the Dying Girl. Now I've been wanting to read this for a while because I just really like the cover. I have no idea what it's about. So I'm looking forward to reading this. I'll probably read this pretty soon actually. And uh, yeah, Me Earl and the Dying Girl, as far as I'm aware it's about a guy and his friend Earl, and a girl that's dying of cancer. So, there you go. Me on the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. It's got a nice feeling, it's very... papery dust cover. A lot of books were giving away, given away that day. Charlotte was giving away some stuff, and I just saw these books by Jonathan Coe. I have no idea who Jonathan Coe is, but I just thought these were really pretty editions. I thought, yeah, I'll take them. And they're all uniform editions as well, they're all like the same. Uh, Penguin, published by Penguin. Uh, so I've got The Rotters Club, The Accidental Woman, and The Dwarves of Death. I also got this World Book Night 2012 edition of The Time Traveller's Wife that Sarah had, but hadn't given away. <gasps> so I asked for this a while ago actually, but only now getting it. I'm looking forward to I'm going to do that. I hear it's very good. Though, you know, it's a shame it's a World Book Night edition, because it just 
just makes it so boring, doesn't it? And last but certainly not least, the book that I saw in a used bookshop that I thought, yeah, I'm gonna have to get that. Kurt Vonnegut, A Man Without a Country. The first thing I noticed is that this is Kurt Vonnegut and it's hardback and possibly first British edition. It's not an old book, <laughs> I'll give that, but still, it's a Vonnegut. The second thing I noticed is the font on the cover is the same font that Vsauce uses for their videos. I really like Kurt Vonnegut, and um, <laughs> I had a quick glance at this and I already like it. This is non-fiction. These are Kurt Vonnegut's memoirs. Uh, it's, uh, a Man Without a Country, a memoir of life in George W. Bush's uh, America. Thank God Kurt Vonnegut has broken his promise that he will never write another book. In this wondrous assemblage of mini memoirs we discover his family legacy and his obscenate unfashionable humanism. It's got a review on the back from The Onion, so it's gotta be, it's gotta be entertaining. It's really nice, it's hardback too. Awesome. Since we're here, my birthday was a couple of weeks ago, I got Catch-22 by Joseph Heller. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but yeah, Catch-22, I'm looking forward to reading this. I think this is great. That's a go Isn't this a gorgeous cover? It's bloody gorgeous. The vintage editions of books are often very pretty. And of course, I'm currently reading When Mr. Dog Bites by Brian Conaghan. This is an interesting book so far. I'm looking forward to it. I will review it. This was sent to me, actually, by Goodreads for review, so I will review it. This should be really good. What I didn't pick up, something I didn't pick up, when I was in Cardiff, was uh, the new Mrs. Peregrine book. One, because the new Mrs. Peregrine book is expensive. And two, because, no, it's just because it's expensive. I can't afford to buy a new book right now. So, I'm, I really want to read that, because I read the first one. I got it as a paperback. Um, I bought it in America, actually. It's in my US book haul, which I think, yeah, it was my pretty much only book haul of last year. I enjoyed it, it was fun. And I just want to read the sequel, because I want to see where he can go with it. I, I want to know what the characters, what happened to these characters, and also, like, it was set in Wales, so I feel like I have to follow these characters, like, I have to follow, like, Bronwyn and stuff. Did Bronwyn die? No, Bronwyn didn't. I don't know. All I remember is that there was a character called Bronwyn, and I've got a friend called Bronwyn. Hello, Bronwyn. You're a character in the book. Josh tried to do a book haul, but Josh's bookshelf space is too small. So we put them up there, where they're stacked high into the air, and he's not very good at limericks at all. Yeah. <laughs>